Here is a really quick guide on how you fix a keyboard that is not working or responding in Windows 11 and or Windows 10. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is restart your computer, something that I'm guessing most of you have already tried. If you cannot type your password at the bottom right of your screen, there's going to be an on-screen keyboard option where you can type in your password with your mouse by using the actual on-screen keyboard. If restarting your computer does not resolve your problem, the second step, also another thing that I'm guessing a lot of you have already tried, is by swapping the connection of your actual keyboard, putting it in a different USB port on your motherboard. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard that with, an, with a third-party dongle, that might be your problem as well because those third-party dongles are very cheap. You have your mouse going to it. You have your keyboard going to it. You have your headset going to it. You have the Wi-Fi going to it. So if you cheaped out on your motherboard, that might be your problem is because you're not using a higher-end Bluetooth Wi-Fi receiver. The third thing that you're going to want to try is running the keyboard troubleshooter in Windows 11 and or Windows 10. It's the same way. You're going to do this by going into your troubleshooter settings by you can either right click on the actual windows key at the bottom of the screen or you can type it in if your keyboard is functioning a little bit but i'm going to keep it real with you and i'm going to be very honest here and i'm not going to tell you what you want to hear if your keyboard is not working at all you probably need a new keyboard and links to some keyboards some very budget friendly keyboards that i actually like myself and literally use myself all that stuff will be linked down in the description and in my comments because if your keyboard isn't working be realistic with yourself forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment I hate saying it just as much as you probably hate me saying it but if i do not say it like one percent of you will actually do it like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff but either way in order to access the troubleshooter you're just going to go into your settings system troubleshoot other devices and then click on the keyboard and run the actual troubleshooter the next thing that you're going to want to try is updating your keyboard driver because outdated or corrupted keyboard drivers can cause a lot of problems with keyboards. And in order to do this, you're just going to simply go down to the search bar, type in device manager, or you can right click on the windows key and your device manager should come up anyways. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to find the keyboard option and right click on that and select update driver. The next thing that you're going to want to do is go into your keyboard settings. This is something that I used to run into a problem with a lot with Windows 10. So if you're using Windows 10, this might be your main issue. You're going to want to go into your keyboard settings and then just simply reset everything to default. And the reason that I'm saying this is like if you're typing on a notepad and you're randomly getting like four R's when you type reset, then it's probably your repeat rate on your keyboard and you're just going to want to reset that to the default settings or you can do what I do and I'm just being dude so I I will never get another higher end keyboard because the lower end keyboards are the same they're literally the same it's kind of like cars once upon a time Honda and Toyota were the only reliable cars now pretty much every car that you can buy is reliable so I hope this helped you if I uh, keep going here, I'm going to get very much off topic. So catch you guys in the next one.